Okay, so the first one you're going to go through is part four of 2020. So, 2020. Um, and part four of 2020 says that payments from a business bank account for repairs to business premises of 1,000 and insurance of private dwelling of 750 were entered correctly in the bank account, but respectively credited to the creditor's account and credited to the insurance account. Okay, so let's take each of them separately payments from a business bank account for repairs to business premises of a thousand so from the business bank account for repairs to a business premises so that should be if we were doing it correctly the business bank account going down by a thousand the repairs going up by a thousand so let's see what they did with it. Uh, entered correctly in the bank account, so 1,000. Oops, down by 1,000. Correctly in the bank account, uh, but respectively credited to the creditor's account and credited to the insurance account. So that means they made no change to the repairs account. So the repairs account should have been going up by 1,000. So that's what we're doing there to fix that. The second entry then was insurance of a private dwelling of 750 so insurance of a private dwelling so the payment was made from the business bank account so the bank account should be going down by 750 and the second account then because it's insurance of a private dwelling it's the drawings account because it's not the business insurance so it's not the insurance account all it is really is 750 paid for something private. It doesn't matter what it was. The fact is it was for something that wasn't for the business. So it was money that um, went out of the business for the owner's uh, benefit. So it's drawings. So uh, let me see. Plus minus here. So again, what did they do? They said insurance of a private dwelling 750 entered correctly in the bank account. So this was in the bank account. They did that correctly, so I'm not going to circle that. But uh, respectively credited to the creditor's account and credited to the insurance account. So it means no um, amount was put in the drawings account. So I'm going to put the 750 in here that they should have put in and put a circle around that. So that's what should have happened. We've done the two things that should have happened. Now they did make uh, two entries which shouldn't have gone in at all and that was the uh, uh, credited to the creditor's account and credited to the insurance account. So we've got to undo those. Creditors is a minus plus. And insurance as an expense is a plus minus so they said that uh, 1750 credited to the creditor's account 1000 here credited to the insurance account 750 here that's what they did they shouldn't have so we're going to undo each of these get rid of that get rid of that and that's your one, two, three, four. And if we need to put in anything um, if in the suspense account to make it balance. Okay, so the next one then is part five in 2020. <clears throat> I don't have the paper here myself, so I'm reading it off the, uh, the screen. So it says, Beglin sent a check for 920 in full settlement of a business debt of 990. And this was recorded correctly in the books. So just to do that, first of all, uh, sent a check of 920 in full settlement of a business debt of 990. So the people the business owes money to are the creditors. So paid off a debt in full, so the creditors goes down by 990. That's what they recorded correctly. And also the bank account, because we sent them a check, goes down by well the check was for 920 so we paid 920 to pay off a debt of 990 that means we got a discount a discount of 70 so it's a 
discount account. And since it's a discount that we received, if you like, we can call it discount received. That's a gain. We received a discount of 70 euros. Now, apparently they recorded that correctly, so that's fine. So the next thing is, however, no entry had been made in the books for the dishonoring of this check and subsequent payment of the amount in full by Beglin. So if we just take the dishonoring of this check, first of all, so when the check was dishonored, that means uh, our bank account, our check bounced. So we thought that our bank account had gone down by 920, but since our check bounced, uh, it didn't actually go down at all, the bank account. So we'll put it back up there. Uh, the amount we owed to our creditors, well, since the check bounced, they said, hey, you owe us that again. So the amount we owed went back up by 990. And the discount that we had received was cancelled or disallowed. So no 70 euros discount. So all of that undone. And then afterwards, it says the subsequent payment of the amount in full by Beglin from a personal bank account. So instead of paying from this bank account, Beglin paid from the personal bank account. In other words, Beglin used private funds and any time Beglin uses private funds, then the capital goes up. So paid in full, 990, the capital goes up by. And now because we're paying it, well, the amount we owe goes down again by 990. So again, even though these cancel each other out and have the effect of putting nothing in the creditor's account, we'll still enter both of them, creditor's 990 here, creditor's 990 here in the, um, in the journal entries. Uh, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five, and we shouldn't have any suspense account. That should balance fine. Okay, the last one then is 2006 part 4 and this is certainly a tricky one it says a private debt for 770 owed by omara that's the owner of the business had been offset in full against a business debt of 820 owed to the firm for car repairs previously carried out no entry had made been in the books in respect of this offset so omara had this private debt of 77 or 770 rather which was cancelled by cancelling a business debt that was owed to the business. Now, the people who owe money to the business are debtors. And offset in full against a business debt of 820 owed to the firm. So we had a business debt of 820 that we cancelled. We said, uh, you don't have to pay us this 820 if you let Omara, the owner of his or her debt of 770. So our debtors goes down by 820 because that's the amount of the, um, of the uh, debt owed to the business that we're leaving them off. So the debt is going down by 820. And now if Omara, the business owner, is benefiting from that, then that's drawings when the owner is taking or getting something from the business. So plus minus. And what is Omara getting from the business? Omara is getting this private debt that they owe cancelled. It's the debtor of the business saying, okay, you don't have to pay me that as long as I don't have to pay the business this 820. So drawings is going up by 770. And then the last part then is, well, if, um, if they got this uh, debt of 820 cancelled um, by cancelling a debt of 770, really they're after getting a discount of 50 euros discount 50 euros and it is a discount allowed isn't it because we're allowing them a discount it's the debtors that are getting the discount so it's an expense plus minus 50 euros and because there was no entry made in the books at all there's um, no suspense entry then in the journalized entries